trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge God and he will direct thy path. Welcome to Testimonies with Akeem Smith, the show that brings transformation, miraculous and inspiring stories across Jamaica. Today with me, I have Abdian Richard Williams. She is a living testimony of God. She believes that there's nothing impossible with God. She walked the road of having cancer, but that Jesus turned her story around. Sister Williams, let me first say welcome to the Testimonies with Akeem Smith. It's indeed a blessing having you on this show, but how are you doing today? Thank you for having me, and I am doing good. I'm just excited to share my story, <laughs> yes. and I hope that my testimony will mm. inspire and it will change someone and let them know that there is healing yes. in Jesus' name. Indeed, I I I I, I believe that your testimony is going to info is going to motivate people and is going to also change person's life because there's there, there's going to be a lot of person who is going through what you gone through yes. and your story is going to bring joy and hope to their lives. But I want you to look into the camera and I want you to tell us your favorite scripture and what does that scripture means to you? Okay, my favorite scripture is Romans 12 verse 12 mm. and it says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation yes. and be constant in prayer. And during my testimony, you guys will get to understand why that is my favorite scripture. Mm, mighty yes. God. You know, I'm anticipating to hear <laughs> of the story because I, I, I can just feel it in my spirit that your story is going to be something amazing. Amen. You know, because the word in Revelation, I believe in, in is Revelation 9 verse 12 where it says that it, it is our testimonies. Our, no, we are overcome overcomers by, by our testimonies. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. So um tell us about your upbringing you know because you said you're from the parish of hanover, hanover yes, right yes. so tell us how was it like you know growing up in hanover um and your childhood days tell okay. us about that um i was a regular um teenager um i grew up with um my great grandma mm. um my brothers and sister live with my mother yes so i was the one that stayed with grandma i, w I was a grandma baby yes and i was always i always have to go to church on sundays mm. and my cousin i have a cousin that live um nearby she's a um, sabbath worshiper mm -hmm. so i would um go with her on saturdays to, yes. to, to to um our church not because i want to go to, um to church but because i want to go for the food as yeah. they know that <laughs> <laughs> and yes and saturdays and saturdays they will have passover yes. and yes and so like typically kids we mm. will go just for the food That's not right. because of church yes. I, but then i always say that the sabbath church is very boring and i am from a sunday church, church. and love the excitement the speaking in tongues and all of that so when we go to church on saturday and sundays now we would have to go to sunday school mm -hmm. even if my grandmother is not going i would have to go it yes, is yes. it is it's no question just as though you have to go to school yes. you have to go to sunday school mm. so sometime after sunday school now what we would do we just go home after sunday school so my grandmother would say why are you here? Why you, you don't? Me say, Mama, I'm Sunday school over. She said, No, Sunday school over. You need to stay at church. Yes. But me say, send me a Sunday school. You never send me a church. It's not that I did. I didn't like church, mm -hmm. but back then church was maybe from you go from eight o'clock till mm -hmm. three o'clock. Church, church was wow. very long and mm -hmm. all of that. So I was, I was a church girl. Never um, got gotten baptized, but I was a church. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um. I, I believe from then the hands of the Lord was on my life mm -hmm. and persons would always said that whenever they see me they say you know if you serve God because God love you and God I call you and all of that uh, my grandmother now she live in Spanish town yes. so whenever she whenever she she comes to visit, visit like in the holidays mm -hmm. she's always telling me about God the yes. Bible and all that always praying for me she always said my grandmother my granddaughter I am out there in Spanish town preaching the gospel, telling people about God. So she always encouraging me about ah. God. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You see, it, it, it is so amazing 
when we have our grandmothers because yes. our grandmothers and and grand well mostly grandmothers you know they are going to push us to say hey you better go to church you know? yes <laughs> if i got church and i get no food in our even i got church i'm gonna beat you yes. right so let us thank god for our grandmothers yes, right thank god for them indeed yes. but looking over over your life what inspired you to give your life to god you see um when the calling of god is on your life mm. you can run so far but no, no more. more and i i remember because when i have my my second child my daughter Deandra. I remember it was a very difficult um, birth mm -hmm. and I was in the hospital bed and I remember saying to God because I was always praying you know, mm -hmm. I am a praying person mm -hmm. even though I was not a Christian I was always praying, praying I, yes. I always talk to God because I know that there is a God and I know what he can do, can do yes. yes so I was always praying I remember and in the hospital bed I said Lord, if you allow me to have this baby mm. and have this baby healthy and all right, yes. I will give you my life. Right. I want to encourage someone. On, don't speak. make a vow to God and don't keep it. Mm. It is better for you not to vow than to vow and not keep it. Mm. <laughs> so, um, yes, I made that vow. Baby, come. I totally forget, forget about God. that. Yes, because... <laughs> We just didn't have a baby. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> the baby come. When the baby come, the it just come back to your yes, normal I, self. I, yes, right back. So um, after some times, I was living with my daughter, um, father. Relationship went sour. And I didn't have anything to do. I didn't have a job. I didn't have anything. So I decided to go into the bar. Mm. I turned to the bar. Because it was the easiest thing for a young what, girl what, to what get. What age was that? Um, maybe I was well, 24, 24, 25. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So it was easy for a young girl mm -hmm. yes, to, to get um, a bar get work. A bar work. That, that was the only thing in Clarendon at the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. So going into the bar and I am there until I get to achieve my own. So I start to, I was working for persons until I can rent my own bar. Mm, yes. yes. And I was... I rented a bar and everything I think was good. But after a while, the owner started to behave away. So mm -hmm. I said, you know, I want my own bar. Yes. And I me said, Father God, if you make me get a bar, if you make me one business, then I go serve <laughs> so you. Because I, I second promise that. Second promise. <laughs> because um, I would now employ someone yes, yes. and I can go to church. Ah. Because me, me know, say, I forget to save, you know. But in my back of my yes. head, me I tell myself, say, me can um, still go to church mm -hmm. and still do my thing. Me can mm -hmm. run my bar mm -hmm. and still do my thing because me are bargain with God. Mm -hmm. Yes, so me achieve the, 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 the container, me achieve the container, me buy a container, and I run my local bar the same way. No remember nothing again wow. about God. Every time I keep party, I'm making set up father God, Miss Father God, I'm on the party of his shot. Yeah, I'm on the party of his sell off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on make a money. And the party sell off. And me, me just constantly I got him asking for things and I say, I'm a whole thing promises. Mm -hmm. I'm in a whole, whole nine. Promises. Yes. So I I remember um September of 2019. Mm -hmm. I was to celebrate my 33 birthday, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 30, yes, and I was keeping a party, and I, 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 I am a person who can drink, we can hold my liquor, mm -hmm. yeah. yes, we can hold my liquor, because if you're in a bar, you know, if you're in a bar, you yes. Have it, yes, you learn, and I didn't really become a, a every drinker until mm. i lost my mom wow. because i also lost my mom to breast cancer mm. yes but we will get there yes, yes yes so um um after in the party when all of my friends come in and everybody i come mm. and they buy me something for my birthday can my birthday yes. and all of a sudden i just don't feel i don't don't have the urge to drink it's not mm. that you mean know me can't hold my liquor yes, but yes. me just eat it liquor just like it just tastes bad to mm. me just like it's sick my stomach yes. me just don't feel right in you know, myself and me couldn't put my finger on it but it was god working yes, on me working through yes you. and me me no i know but back then i, I couldn't know. understand mm. what was happening because even though i was in the bar and doing my own thing 
there is always in the back of my head my promises that mm -hmm. I made. Yes. And I have a church sister that have a um, restaurant near to the bar. Mm -hmm. So she always invited me to church. So I remember once she invited me to church and I said, this church is too big and boring <laughs> because I am from a small community, yes. small church. Everybody know everybody and church up on fire. I mm. said, church is too big and boring. I can't bother with the church here. So I never come back. So um, she invited me again. She said, all right, we get my young pastor now, one new pastor and he hot. So you come to church. So I said, all right, I'm going to come to church. So I come and yes, it was good. But no one didn't pump me mm. to say, all right, go to the altar, whatever. Yes. I to the altar, give my name and this promise that they would have called. No mm, one no called. One yes. And fast, fast forward to um, October of that same year, I was getting ready mm -hmm. to come to, to, to go to the bar. And I was in the bathroom. And just to get to get a shower, mm -hmm. but I wanted to use the toilet. Yes. Yes. So, sitting down, when I go down like this, mm -hmm. I feel my hand brush and something. I may say, "No man, what that not feel? Mm -hmm. That not feel right." Yes. So I start to feel, mm -hmm. and I I felt a lump, and I call my my son, um, grandmother who I call mama. Mm -hmm. She's my mama. She everybody mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Miss <laughs> Carmen. So I, I I call her and I say to her and she said, Don't wait. Go and check it out. Yes. Because as I said before, my mom I died. Yeah, I and lose my from breast cancer. So I went straight to the doctor and he sent me to do an um X ray ultrasound and when they they did they did the X ray they said that they see some lumps and it does not look good. Wow. Yeah. So I went to do a fine needle biopsy. Mm -hmm. And when I do the, the fine needle um, biopsy, they said that um, uh, it, it, look, it don't look right. Mm -hmm. So they're going to send it to be tested. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when they send it to be tested, I, won't, I wouldn't get the results until um december oh. yes so december when the doctor called me in for the result she him say it is cancerous oh. and it's it have a lot of lymph node mm -hmm. like it's spread to my arm right, right, and all right. of that so mm -hmm. um you going to send me to do a uh, no not x-ray you're going to send me to do a ct scan mm -hmm. and the CT scan it would have been for six, 60 or 1,000 for the mm -hmm. CT scan. The fine needle, the biopsy, all of those money. I'm, I'm just going to walk you through yeah, yeah, how God yeah, has, that's, that's... have provided or mm. have showed up. Or, um, this is me in sin, you know? Yes. Me getting all of this yes. in, sin in sin. Because there is no length mm -hmm. that God won't go to. When he might call yeah. you and your place yeah. and your <laughs> neck, there is no length that mm. he won't go to. He will bring you through the shadow. Look on Jonah. Look yes. Jonah. <laughs> Just to reel your back yes. in. Yes. Yes. So I, I, when I get the result and everything, it was, it was shocking, but I wouldn't say I was fearful yes. because may I say, listen, this thing killed my mother. It's not going to kill me. Amen. And may not live no life yet. Yes. So me put on, me, me, me just put on, me fighting, mm. me put on me fighting this, yes. not knowing that I was putting on the armor, armor of, of God. God. Mighty yes. God of so, Daniel. Um, the December now, after me get the result and everything, me still not think about God, you know. Me just I think about, oh, me I go beat this thing and go back out, back, go yeah, live my life. Me just I think about, me I go just beat it and live my life. Mm -hmm. Me still not think about God, but God I think about mm -hmm. me. So the, the, um, that here, Normally, I would have ring in New Year at my bar when I do me to cook some food mm. and the man them come in and buy the liquor. So I cook up this whole of food and then community and my friends them from overseas and everybody them come and yes. a drink and have themselves and a party. So the, the, the container, um, I put a lot of glass around it right. inside there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when, when I tell me outside with them, I enjoy myself and I carry on. And I go back inside. Remember, I wasn't drinking because yeah. I'm 
from my birthday in September. Mm -hmm. Me just come like me couldn't drink. My yes. stomach just feel upset whenever me silica mm -hmm. and all of that yeah. because God was working on me. So um, I wasn't drinking, so it's not like I was drunk. Right. So me went back into the bar, and me I look upon myself in a mirror, and me couldn't find me. I, I was lost. I me I said, who is this person? Mm -hmm. You know, like I was me have a outer body experience. Me couldn't. Me let me say, oh, who this? Mm -hmm. Me no know myself. Yes. I feel. Like something wrong. I'm going to go back outside and I say, you know, say me I got church and I go get baptized. Mm. And then look at me like, you're drunk. <laughs> I say, no, I'm not drunk, I'm serious. Yes. But because I feel like, say, and then this fear come over me like, if I don't give my life, yes. no, today, tonight, I'm not going to live tomorrow. That fear is a is a fear. Yes. When they say the fear, then put the fear of God, when you have mm. the fear of God upon your life, Mm. I know a nice yes, feeling yes, yes. and my, my daughter was out there because normally what would I do after we done drink and eat and whatever would I come at church you know typically oh, Jamaican right. yeah, you know? New Year's yeah, yeah New Year's night mm. they want to come, come ring in they yes. want to come to we say we don't want to New Year catch we oh want, dear yeah, you want, want to catch me in a church if we so get now, good luck if we get <laughs> that's yes. how we say we love boobs out mm. there so my daughter was out there and I said to her, I said, come follow me go over because my house they're near to the to where the container right. was the bar. And I said, come follow me go over, me I go look some clothes because when I got church tonight, me I go get baptized. And my my boyfriend, my husband now, mm -hmm. he was there and he like, he must in shock because he must say what flying <laughs> at me. He must say, you know, they never see me behave. So, so I go over and I get the clothes and I come back and I say, come, 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 I start hurry up, hurry up, mm. pack, no matter that pack, wash up, pack them or nothing. Just pack everything because I was excited. Like I'm something at me and I couldn't explain it. Wow. And when I come, when I come at the church, this church, mm -hmm. um, I remember I went around the back and because it was Pastor Young at the time. Okay. I remember him because um remember my church sister who invited yeah, me and tell me about the restaurant. The, about, yes, who mm -hmm. tell me about the ad pastor. Yes. Yes. So me remember him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so me um me go around the back and me say to him, me say, Pastor, I want to get baptized tonight, tonight, tonight. And he say, Okay. Did not know that he he was a associate pastor and oh, there was a bishop and he right, must have run right. everything through the bishop and all of that. No, me no, I didn't mm -hmm, know then. Mm -hmm. So um he go to the bishop and then them are talk back and forth, back and forth. I mean the back and tell him that I'm not leaving. You know? <laughs> and him say, the bishop say no think them can able to baptize me tonight because there is no mm -hmm. water in the pool. Oh. And Come in the January, January the 20th would have been a baptism, baptism. because they would have started their crusade oh, from the right. from the same night, which would have been the, the um New Year's New night. Year's night. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they would have started um crusade. Right. So they would have said me, me must wait until the 20th. Me said me can't wait till the 20th. <laughs> me go dead, dead, dead. You want to give a life, man? Me go dead. <laughs> they, they, they didn't understand the urgency right. or the, the fear, or that, the fear yeah. that was on my life. Mighty God. So um. I remember um, Pastor Young said, no man, this young lady mm. has to be baptized tonight. There must be a reason why must she be a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember them, when we go back into the church, you know, because I can't keep me healing on my back, me in, me out, mm. me in, me out. Then me, one at a time, me saw them full in the, 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 the pool the inside and I said, yes, yes, this is it. And even though I was nervous, a, a lot of confusion are going on my head because one more get baptized and one that tell me say what you gonna do because mm. when when we say it at the bar they must say what you gonna do you gonna left the bar you give a bar you get mad no mm. what you gonna do i was so confused and when they asked me to give my testimony in the mm. church i was the only one you know mm, getting baptized getting and baptized. the church full don't it yes Mighty and God. all of the friends that was at the party them come and at the window yeah. looking because them say me not mm. serious mm. because me just get up out of the blues and say it yes. so mm. they say me never serious my husband was there my children was there mm -hmm. and they might take picture and all of that and when they asked me to give my testimony and me um go up to give my testimony me say I've been running for a while and I can't run anymore. Mm. And I was in my bar and the Lord come for me. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Mr. Barry Church, but <gasps> silent. I said, I'm a bar, I'm a run out mm. and come. Mm. Yes. And whew, I remember when I when I when I got when I got saved and I feel so I it, it was like you know you're going to be someone there to 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 say something negative or uh, the devil always use persons if mm. you allow yourself to be yeah, used man. he will use you so sometimes it's not that you you want to say something but um i learned that you have to be careful of what you say to persons mm -hmm. because you don't know how fragile yes. they are and i remember the the the, the murmuring and the mm. whispering about me um admitting that i have i run a bar mm -hmm. and whatever but that is my past yes yes i am now stepping over this is a new year now That's i'm changing right. and there was a comment made about i should have said it before like come and say whatever like give my reason and all of that because you know, i should have been disciple nobody obligation right. i should have been disciple like you know when you just come and you want to get baptized they would like give you um yeah right I whatever understand. class mm -hmm. what is it called again um fellowship or something yeah, something yes, like that yeah however they mine mine couldn't go through nothing mine was an emergency right right yes and Be because uh, i believe uh, all right let me hold, hold just hold a second says and remember that what you're about to say i believe if um if somebody come and say hey i want to give my life to god do it same time yes and then after the baptism i can you disciple call, them yeah, yes you might, disciple yes mm -hmm. so after after um i changed and i was leaving i remember this um church brother come to me and he was the one that kind of pull me up back mm. because after that comment was made yes. it kind of like he mm. threw, you know he threw a cold water upon yes, somebody's yes. spirit mm -hmm. so he's the one that he, he comes and he encouraged me he said that sis um i heard your testimony and i and i heard that you said that you were in a bar mm. or whatever but if you have to go back to your bar go on back to your bar because mm -hmm. god call you go on mm. back to your bar and make god work it out mm. he will take you out of your bar yes yes mm and that just lift me up and maybe he me always say to him you know and he mm. said but me don't remember me to tell him he said yes i cannot forget you are the one wow. you are the one that make me feel like my my tell me say, listen to me from god call you he might go fix it he might go work it. out mm. everything and that is a fear why enough person won't give their life to mm. god today because they're worrying about me living with a man mm. and me have a four and a five pit in them so when me leave one time me go get baptized right. now we are gonna have me mm. mm. have me one bar me have me whatever they, they, they are thinking about what they going to give up right. and how it's going to work out but me just want to encourage someone you see just give it all to jesus and he will fix it he will work it out Come on, man. because you can't fix yourself Oh. You can't save yourself, or you can't fix yourself. Sometimes I say, "Oh, me I go wait until me married first. You never get me married. Mm -hmm. Oh, me I go wait until me have enough money first, and me wait until me me come to God as me is, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and Him just work it out and Him fix it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Him fix it. Um, remember, you know, I got saved. And it would have been the first of January. Right. I call it the first of January yes, because yes. you know, say after twelve. Yes, it's a new day. New day. Mm -hmm. So the first of January, sixteen days after that, mm -hmm. I was living. I was living with a man, you know, mm -hmm. for all long, you know. And he never think of making me a wife. Mm -hmm. Come sixteen on, man. days, yes. sixteen <laughs> days after that, because he see that I was serious, yes. and he see zeal, but pam me for God, mm. and he realized, so listen, I go back home to him. Yes, he couldn't touch me. Come on, I man. went back to the bar, mm -hmm. but my I was a different person in yes. that bar my God. until God worked it out. And 16 days after that, he said, listen to me, I am mm -hmm. going to look for my wife whenever, because I was scheduled to do my surgery mm -hmm. the 20th right. of January. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, they asked me to wait to be baptized on the 20th 20, of January. Yes, yes. Of January. Mm -hmm. That was the date that I was scheduled to do the, the, um, the surgery mm -hmm. because I was supposed to remove the breast. The breast. Because I remember oh, I still have the cancer. Yes, still have the cancer. Right. So, um, 16 days, 
he asked me to be his wife. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And we just come here to mm. the, before the bishop, just my grandmother and his sister, and we, we got married. Mm. And four days after I got on, married, testify, four yes. days after I got married, I was supposed to do my surgery. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to pay a hundred and a thousand mm. for the surgery. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to pay 44,000 for one of the breasts to be removed mm -hmm. and i said to my doctor i want to remove both of them mm -hmm. so I, I have a double mastectomy. Mm -hmm. i said i want to remove both of them because i don't want to run the risk of it yes, coming yes. back into mm -hmm. the other one so now the money gone up to um four um eight hundred eight eight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the breast you know not for the surgery because right. i was supposed to pay the the, the, the hundred and thousand i'm supposed to pay is was for the anesthesia doctor the one that was oh, going, right. supposed to put me to sleep mm -hmm. yes so that the money they gone up, so you know, say so I look on 200,000, yeah, right? 200, so, yeah, roughly. All right. And after that, I would still have, would have to do another um, CT scan because I have to do a CT scan for right. them to start the chemotherapy. Ah. Yeah, because I, I have to do chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, look on 200, mm -hmm. 200,000 there, about right. because even though I am doing it in the hospital, I still doing it kind of private right yes. because if i was supposed to wait on the hospital date the drawn out my maybe God. i'm not going to do my surgery yet. Mm. i'm not dead before well god forbid god know why right because i know whatever i do um, right, save right. me so um all of those money i was supposed to put mm. together to do my surgery mm -hmm. so and so it was a Sunday. I was supposed to book into the hospital. I got right. married on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. I will never forget. Come on. I got married on a Thursday, the 16th of January. Yes. Yes. And the night there was a crusade here. And the Reverend, um, I think it's Ethan Thomas. I'm not sure of the name, but I, I know his last name is Thomas. And you know, he was stick preaching. a pin. Let me let the audience know that when you say here that there's a, a man of god here she's referring to the maple new testament church of god so if you're out there and you want a church for your home a church to call home the maple new testament church of god is the place to be continue <laughs> okay so he was preached he was ministering that night so remember you know just got married yes my husband did not touch me for so long yeah. yeah for 16 days because mm. it was 16 days and um you know honeymoon everybody can't wait for their honeymoon <laughs> yeah so they invited us to church mm -hmm. and we come to church yes come at, come and we come to church so where me never understand i did not know no. he was he was preaching and me no know one fire catch yes, up on, on me something catch up on me. i was mm. and I, I, I don't know what was yes, happening yes. and when i when i reached which woman I was supposed to go to my bed. I was just crying. I was just crying. I was just tears. I don't know why I was crying. I just mm. know that I was crying. Right. I was just crying. Those tears was just flowing. And my husband was just patting me. Osh, osh, osh. He didn't understand. It. Like, and every time he touched me, like my body mm, shake. Yeah. And my God. So that, that was the Holy Spirit up on you. I did not know then. <laughs> so I went to my I went to my grandmother's room because my grandmother was here at the time visiting. And I went down to the room where she was staying and I said, Mama, want me to me make it stop, make it stop. Mama said, Me, make it stop. <laughs> that is the Holy Spirit ah. sanctifying you. You are being my, sanctified. Yes, Jesus. And in my work by you. So I like things them in my work mm -hmm. it out. You are being delivered. Me said, Mama, make Ma, it stop. Be because Hallelujah, Lord yes. Jesus, oh my God. Mm. It was an experience. Yes, yes, yes. I can it, feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> You're talking. Jesus. Me, mm. whoo, couldn't, me couldn't, yes, me, yes. Me couldn't contain yes. myself. So there was no honeymoon. That was my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it. That was the Holy Ghost. Yes, man. Yes. Working, working on, on you. Working on you. Me. Cleansing you. Yes, mighty cleansing God. I remember it was the, the Thursday night. And the Friday. Mm. Me couldn't go no bar. My God. Me couldn't go no bar. The mm. Saturday I was getting prepared for the Sunday for right. me to go to the hospital for me to admit in the hospital to do the, the surgery. Yes. All right. So I am at the surgery now. Mm -hmm. The Sunday. I was supposed to go in from early, but I didn't know. So I feel like the hospital me going to tomorrow yes, I have yes. the surgery. So I'm going in a heavy when I feel like. Mm. Never know the procedure because I was supposed to be in there for them to check me oh, out and all that observation yes. and all of that and and 
I would have to meet with the, the, the anesthesia, the doctor from yes, and all of that. But I don't know none of that. Mm. Because me never know. <laughs> I didn't know anything. Yes. So they're telling me now that my surgery would be pushed back for X time. Mm. That we should I should have gotten the surgery done early in the morning. Yes. But because of me being delayed. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't me delaying no, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. delayed. It was being pushed back. So Spend the night in the hospital in the morning now, when it was the time for me to, well, it wasn't my time to do the surgery, but if I was there when I was supposed to be there, mm -hmm. say it was, it would have been 10 o'clock. Yes. So if I didn't reach at the hospital from the morning and, up, and the do the observation the and everything, I would have done the surgery 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right. So when it was 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. um, there was an accident done by um, Yorktown. Mm -hmm. I know persons will remember if they would remember. Yes. There was a big accident where a truck, some a light pole, something so with the whole of them be mm. was without electricity. Mm -hmm. Whole of them be. Wow. So the hospital didn't have anything. The theater was operating on um maybe Delco or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was no electricity. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I said, God. Mm. No, I am looking back at it and I say, <laughs> God, because I shouldn't be in theater. God didn't want me in the theater mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Because who knows? Mm -hmm. They God. could be operating on me. Yes. So I was there and it was visiting time. I downloaded the, 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 the Bible up on my phone. Because should we get saved now? You know, say, yes, we, I yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm and, and mm -hmm. all of that. And my husband was there and one text the, the, the Bible app sent me a notification that says, wait on God time. Wow. Confirmation. So after this, after the whole not having any light at the hospital, you got that message? There was light there, but it wasn't uh, from JPS. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't from JPS. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I got that message on my phone. Wait, wait on, on God, God time. time. Mighty and God. Come on. When I saw the, the guy coming from theater, I said to my husband, say I made them a come for now. Because I got the, the, the confirmation. I said, mm -hmm. I made them a come for now. So when the guy come up, because I was close to, to the door, yes. when he come up, I said, I come for see me here. And he walked past me and he got to the nurse. Mm -hmm. And the nurse called out my name. And I me, me said, Yes, come I'm excited, come well, want to go get the surgery. Yes, yes. And me said, I never tell you, say, I made come for. Mm -hmm. And he smiled. Me now with myself, I walk. To go at the theater. They said, no, you have to get on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get on the bed. All right. Go in. Did my surgery. All of that. So the Monday morning now, the doctors that did the surgery. Mm -hmm. um, he's kind of my personal doctor because I can call him. Even now, I can right. call him. He always check up on me and all of that. Mm -hmm. So after I did, um, the surgery, he comes to my bedside and yes. he said that, they're ready to proceed now with payment and all of that mm -hmm. and for for me to give him the money to send the specimen which is the breast mm. a breast then call it specimen yes, yes. Mm -hmm. to send him to the, a private lab mm -hmm. for it to be tested oh so send my husband to go and get the funds mm -hmm. when they're doing the paperwork and all of that guess what god do mm -hmm. They can't find the specimen. They right, can't right. find the breast. Mm -hmm. They send on the theater in a down there. Mm -hmm. They send up at the um the lab is is not there. Mm -hmm. When they call around and check around, it's already sent out to the government lab with urgency. See, so you know when things go government lab, yeah. you know, yeah, you now come back now, you know. Mighty but mine was sent there with urgency. urgency. Who did it? Mm -hmm. Who did it? Who did it? So that hundred and a thousand, I did not pay because mm. the anesthesia that was supposed to see me because I delay, she was not there. Uh -huh. So it was the hospital doctor mm -hmm. that put me to sleep. Right. It, my specimen, my breasts were sent to the government lab. I did not have to pay. Mm -hmm. So all of those money, mm -hmm. all of those money them. that I was going to pay. <laughs> Wow. So when I leave the hospital three days, mm -hmm. you know what I did? The first thing that I did, I went to my and my husband, and we bought a brand new bedroom set. Come on, man. Brand Come on, new. Man. 
because God has said, may I clean up yes. you, may I clean up Newness. everything. Newness. Newness. Come on, may man. I clean up everything. Yes. Mighty God. Mm -hmm. I remember, say, from me, from me getting married, no, no go on, you know, mm -hmm. nothing. And God gave me a brand new bedroom set. Mighty everything. God. Mm. everything god did it yes yes and he never done there so mm. so when i was supposed to know to do the next ct scan mm -hmm. for them to get all the little details and all of that for right. it to be sent to um hope institution because that is where i would do my chemotherapy oh right yes. so when they were doing um all of that and doctor they're writing up and writing up and whatever you say Miss Richie, I'm going to send her to do a CT scan. Mm -hmm. I look at myself, I have a friend of my $60,000 for God to do it again. Now, I'm say, don't worry, it will be free. Free, mate. Look at that. <laughs> free. <laughs> Did the CT scan? They sent me up into, send me to Hope Institution for me to do chemotherapy. I was supposed to do 18 chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Remember, you know, all of this is January, February. Mm -hmm. When the um, COVID came, right, March. You remember um, yes, COVID yes, came yes. here, March. Twenty twenty-two, there about. Um, no man. It twenty twenty. March from twenty twenty. Yes. Oh yes, March mm -hmm. of twenty twenty came COVID. I wasn't coming to church. Mm. My pastors did not know. My church brothers, my church sisters, didn't no know. one know wow. what I was going through, and then come. Covid or everybody have a lockdown, yes, lock, yeah. isolation. Only going out, I was going out, was going into Kingston mm. for therapy. Wow. Every every Monday, I would go over Maypen Hospital for them to draw blood mm -hmm. for to take in for so I'm um, do sixteen round of chemotherapy. Yes. Yes, and chemotherapy is not cheap, not at mm. all. But my doctor. <laughs> That same doctor from yes, me, yes. yes, he he sent me to the Hope Institution, and at the Hope Institution, you you do chemo, chemotherapy for free, free, wow. free of course. It's just for me to get from here mm -hmm. to there right. in the lockdown. So you know, say renting a car. Yes, I didn't have a car at that right. time, yes. so I have to make sure I have a, get a car rented, and. Uh, it was a, a, a nice journey mm. because even though God have blessed me with some good support system, yes. my husband was a rock. Mm, my God. Big mm. up to you. Big up to you, husband. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Williams, yes. big up. <laughs> he was a rock. My daughter, Deandra, every second, mm. she would come with me, all right, all right. That's and so nice. My, my, yeah, my children, my children, they, they was a... Um, good support, support system. system i have some friends mm. uh, oh i have some friends i remember this particular friend she came to the hospital when i did my surgery mm -hmm. and she gave me a bath mm -hmm. and those those things some 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 people look like a small things but yeah, it means a lot it, man it, means it speaks that volume stay, that to my heart that some some place deep i have some mm. some i hold her some place in my heart that yes. is very secret only yes. god alone you know mm. i appreciate her so much she know herself she will be watching <laughs> she knows <laughs> herself to you, to <laughs> i you. don't want to call any of you here but <laughs> you know yourself and i have some really um family and friends some really good yes. friends because as i said before my church family did not know didn't what know, was going right. on. Yes, yes. yes, because I was new. Remember, just yeah, that same yeah, January, even, even I didn't that too, really, really right. know anyone. No mm. one didn't really know me. Right. Some person remember from the girl that gave the testimony about, about the, the bar. bar. <laughs> yes, but they didn't really know me. Yeah. I didn't know them, so I didn't have a support system yes. here. Mm -hmm. Don't blame anybody because no, 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 didn't no. Know. Yeah, yeah, they didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah, yes. yeah, I understand. All right, so. I just want, I just have taken our journey to make you see how God are work yes. out things. Yeah, don't, so. don't, don't, just take your time. We have time, right? Right? <laughs> Audience, we have time. And right, right my, my cameraman, we have time. Perfect. Yes. Go ahead. So, um, <laughs> I, so every Monday, as I said before, I would have to go to the Maypen Hospital for them to take my blood, mm -hmm. from, for them to get the blood work for me to do the, the chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. Yes. 
So and every Friday I would have to go into Kingston mm. for chemotherapy. During the COVID time. During the COVID time. Mm. It wasn't easy. Yes. And my husband was the only one living there. I catch Pitney couldn't go to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was the only one. So when he come home, me isolate him out and do it for a while. <laughs> because me afraid yes. because them tell me say um because uh, the treatment when me I got to my immune system, you don't want to oh, compromise right. and all like yes, that. Yes, gotcha. So he must stay outside, take a shower, mm -hmm. he close up, stay outside and all of that. Mass up. No church. Mm. Nothing at all. Yes, yes. So, why that scripture is my favorite scripture, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're going to get to there. Yes. Because when I was having my devotion in the morning, because everything worked together for good, good for them that love, love the Lord. God. Because even though I was going through that, I was a young convert mm. and me never really have much spiritual yes. um, backing because my grandmother don't live with me. I didn't right, really right. have it, me find that inner strength, yes, yes. commune with God, ah, spend time with yeah, Him, so that's grow true. Up. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you know, you, you, me, me isolated now, you know, so mm. like God take me and put me in a situation and say, Yes, listen. And me and you, mm. not about nobody the world, else. not no, about nobody. the cancer, not about nothing. Mm -hmm. No worry about it. Me, I go fix that cancer. Worry about me, so I focus on God. So I was in my, I was in my scripture. I was yes. in my devotion with God. So I, I always um, have my devotion at my bedside. There is a mat there. When me say, listen to me, mm -hmm. I mean altar right so at the summit of my devotion mm. and i remember this morning i was having my devotion and i was just crying out to god i was just crying out to him and i said god i am tired i am sick and tired of feeling sick and tired mm. there's no more than this for me hand them for them for juke me for pushing my things god. me hand them then tired mm -hmm. me tired me sick and me tired i'm just like cry out yes, to him yes. And me remember I was on my belly and I was crying out to him. And then me turn over upon my back. And I look up and I see him and I just start laughing. Mm -hmm. And I said, I laugh and I couldn't stop laughing. And I said, what am I laughing? Right, and yeah. I said, he come to me like him and I said, them always say, when you laugh, you don't get no joke, you go crazy. And I said, I don't go crazy in the name of Jesus. Same, so speak it. And then I remember he come to me and say, he's going to give me beauty mm. for ashes. Me say, <laughs> my God, it was a Tuesday. On, huh? It was a Tuesday. I will never forget that Tuesday. And mm. I said, I am going to fasting because I remember that fa they have fasting here on a Tuesday. Yes, that's and right. even though it was COVID, was kind of mm -hmm. wow. dwindling, dwindling yeah, yeah. down. Yes, yes. yes, and small amount of persons have on your mask, mm -hmm. come a fasting. Oh, so yes. me, me tell myself, say, if me can take a risk to go, go hospital. Yeah, for go Kingston, hospital. Yeah. Me a pain for go job blood. But Kingston for take go risk take, for God. get treatment. <laughs> me I take a risk and come a fast. Come on, man, yes. That year was I I will never forget it. Mm. Because when God, God does some things for you, you can't forget yeah, it. Man, you can't forget. It was September again, you know, mm -hmm. of another year. It was set, I'm not sure if it's the other year or the same year, yes. but I know I remember it was September. Because the church changed bishop. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. So we, we were getting a new bishop, mm -hmm. which is our bishop, yeah, bishop, no. bishop James mm -hmm. Bishop Small, James Small, right? yes. So he was the bishop here, and they were having a fasting. The evangelist fixed Jackson. He was the one speak, um, bringing the word in the fasting. Mm -hmm. Remember me just coming out. Them not really know me. Me not know you, nobody. Me knew, even though me, even though me got baptized. I am still new because yes. most of the virgin they did not know me. I did oh, not know them. Mm -hmm. So I was new. And I remember I sat in the second seat in the in the front row mm -hmm. in the fasting. And the man of God was preaching. Yes. And he walked past me. And he walked past me and he come back. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, say, he said, Somebody bring me olive oil mm -hmm. and they bring the olive yes. oil and he said open your hand and I opened my hand and he said that I'm not going to touch you. Yeah, you touch yourself. you know where mm. the problem is. Come on now. Put it, rub it where the problem is and believe God for your healing. Yes, That was on. all that he said to me. Hallelujah. And I take my hand 
and I rub mm. where the problem was. Mm. And I lift my hands to God and I said, Thank, Thank you, Jesus. God, for yes. your healing. Come on. Thank you for your healing. Thank you, Jesus, mm. for your healing. Bishop wasn't in church, yes. wasn't in the church at the time. He was in his office. Yes. And that he, he did not know nothing what that yes, was yes. going on. The evangelist proceed continue throughout the service. So the service was now finished. Bishop, you know, Bishop have a come, yes, come close come, off yeah, or whatever, um, whatever. So when Bishop come in to the church, now Bishop said, someone here mm, is getting the miracle, miracle. the healing. Yes. All you have to do is <laughs> believe God for your healing. In pick up the same place where he, he man of yes, God left, left off. off. Yes, come on. The spirit is yeah. right. Mm -hmm. he bear bear um, witness. God, witness. Yes, and he says, someone here, he says, Yes. Me no know who else you know, but me know say I mean, you know, me I claim it, you know. Yes. Cause sometimes we come to church and some word, you know, mm. we don't claim it. Oh, we don't we claim it. Take come some on things up. for yeah. yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what belongs to you, you know. So take what you want from the dish and yes. leave what you don't want. So me take my healing from that fasting service and me mm. say, thank you, thank Jesus, you, Jesus, I am here. The man of God did not put his hand on me. Mm. He just speak a word mm. and I believe. Yes. Mm. Because. With faith, you have to have ah, faith. As small as the because, mustard yes, seed. Yes, because it is my faith. Because if I did, uh, mm. him say it and mm -hmm. it, me didn't have but faith if, if to believe it. If your faith did not up there, or yes. if you did not connect with the man of God or to God, you wouldn't receive it. Or if I didn't have the faith to say, if I can go to yes. doctor, then I must ah. can come to church ah. fasting. Ah, that is right. start from. Start from there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mighty God, start come on. There. So, um, it was a Tuesday. Yes. And I remember every Friday after going to Kingston for treatment. Yes, yes. So the Tuesday I was here in fasting. Went Friday for mm. treatment. When I went for treatment, my doctor said to me, said, Mr. Williams, I'm not going to make you do it. I'm not going to give any therapy today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send a fast CT scan. You know who vex? <laughs> me vex. Because me I say you think say easy. Yes. But me never have a care then you know. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, fair and care for come up for every come week. Up for come for my treatment and yes. when I come I can't get my treatment and we'll want this sixteen round for done. <laughs> not knowing that God have rug pan it, you know. Me I tell you, not knowing that God is already fixed it. Yes. Not working on it, already fixed fix it. it. Mm. And however, she write up the farm and she say, Don't worry yourself. I don't know why them always tell me, Don't worry yourself. You will be doing it free. <laughs> why worry <laughs> don't worry yourself you will be doing it free <laughs> so the, another another um ct yes yes free, free. might okay mm. whoa so come do the ct scan take back the result the next friday into kingston mm. i said well maybe the man may get me treatment and what make can and done this yes, thing yes Doctor did and I read it. She read it and she said, Miss Richie, um, I see where your skin is clean, it's clear. So I will be discontinuing your treatment. Look, look at that. And all of that. Look at that. <laughs> all them nice things there. <laughs> <laughs> and all of those nice things there. We are not seen any more chase of the cancer and all of that. Mm. However, I want to put you on five years surveillance and mm. all of that. You just need to, you don't need to come back here. You just stay in my pain yes. and whatever. All of those nice things. And I said, look at God. Look at God. Look at mm. God. Stage three breast cancer. Breast, stage three. Stage three breast, breast cancer. cancer. Very aggressive. And mm. remember, I was 33 at the time. Mm -hmm. And... When you are younger, yes, it is more aggressive in a oh, younger person. I see. Yes. Mm. And God wiped it off. Wiped it away. Completely. Mm. He gave me that scripture. He said, just rejoice. Mm -hmm. Rejoice. Rejoice in hope. <laughs> be patient in a tribulation. Ah, yes. And That's a good one. Constant in prayer. prayer. Constant. Because even though I was fighting, mm. I was I was patient. I didn't make it. I didn't make it pull me down. Yes, I was yes. rejoicing in hope. Even though persons, some of the persons who who, 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 who heard mm -hmm. that I was sick, like them are pronouncing me already wow. because 
my ma my, I lose my mom from it. Mm. I have friends, family, mm. right around me. People I die from cancer. When people um, hear the word cancer, yes, just they a know, fear, yeah, yeah. They just a know fear that, that death, come over death. them. Just death, then just a plan everything. Mm. But the Lord gave me that scripture and said, just rejoice. 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 Mm. Don't make it bring you down. Rejoice. Mm. Uh, even though I was going through uh, my going through, I did not look like what I was going, going through. through. <laughs> I remember going to, to, to um, treatment and mm -hmm. persons would say, are you sick or your husband? <laughs> they don't know which one I was sick because my husband in the miss up never miss wow. an appointment he never miss a doctor visit he wow. miss not even yeah. miss a result never pick up and have to come he was always there yes yes so me just want to encourage somebody look in the camera and tell them that look right <laughs> yes. and tell them but, <laughs> you, but before you go to the in, the encouragement I, I mean your situation reminds me with the woman the woman with the ace of blood you know she extended her feet yes. and said if i could just touch the hem of his garment then I will be I will made whole. And so that day when the man of God spoke to you and said, Hey, yes. touch wherever that you know that yes. needs healing. And you did that by faith. Yes. And look at you now. You are a living testimony. testimony. You 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 are now walking free from stage three cancer. Look at that. <sighs> to God be the glory. Great things he has yes. done. I mean, there are so many persons out there who, uh, you know, evil, one of my aunt, she's, I know that she, she will be watching this because I'm going to send this to her directly. Yes. I want her to watch it. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if she, if she still have the cancer or if, because I know that she did a surgery, but um, I know that your story is going to motivate her because she, I believe she's still going through it or maybe she... Um, got healed from it, yes. but nonetheless, your story is going to motivate her. So many persons will be watching. So look into the camera and tell them, encourage them. Persons who are, um, you know, experiencing stage three cancer, stage stage two, whatever any amount. State, yeah, whatever just state motivate it may them. Be. Um, cancer is it is just a word, mm. just as oh you would you you would hear about um, high blood pressure. Yes are lupus are whatever mm -hmm. it is just another sickness and uh, my god come on man. That sickness is not of god even though god can use anything for his glory yes. because he used the cancer for his ah. glory but sickness is not of god and you just have to have a positive mindset mm -hmm. When you hear about cancer, don't just get afraid. Oh, no, death on. sentence. No. Mm. It is not over until God said it That's is right. over. You need to surround yourself with positive persons. Because negative energy, stress, and all of those, mm. no, no. So you need to surround yourself with positive. But I believe that God was intentional in my situation mm. when he... he, he it up right in the COVID um, time, time and it pulled me. Mm. It pulled me aside and draw me for, for me to get closer, closer to, to him, him. Yes. so I could grow. Ah. <laughs> because even though That's... I was I was there, I wasn't focusing on the, and on the sickness. I didn't mm. worry about it, none at all. Not I was just all. Focus, focusing on a relationship with God, right. drawing closer to him. Because when you when you when you focus on God, you know, and you give God all your cares and your words, you know, in take care of everything, yeah, man. You, know, yeah, you work it out, and you never know, you know. I, I believe there, just hold yourself. I believe there's somewhere in Matthew, is it Matthew six, verse thirty three, where it says that. See uh, first. No, that's no no thirty two. Yes. Where he spoke about needs, just don't worry about the needs. Yes, just leave everything to God and just see God first, yes. like His kingdom, kingdom. Yes, and everything will be in line. Yes. so that's what you did. Yes. Mm. So uh, as I said before, we just want to encourage some a, a young, even if you're not a young person, but yes. I want to encourage someone. Come on. That um, sometimes you feel like life nice, life good, and you have it all, and you feel like nothing can go wrong, and you have this nudge or you have this feeling and you want to serve God. But because you are, you are looking on the situation, yes. what if? Mm. What if? 
don't worry about the what if. Yeah, don't, don't worry, worry about, about the outcome. Don't worry about it. Just give it all to Jesus because I know a lot of persons that they're living with their boyfriend, their baby father, 15, 20, 30 years. And if if him not see his wife and see her ready if he give you a ring, mm. no wait. Come on, yes. Step out. Mm. What if I was still thinking about the bar? The bar. <laughs> Come on, man. The bar, it contain I still there, yeah. you know. <laughs> I'm going to dead left it. You understand? Oh I'm step out. By faith. By faith. Hmm. And because it, if a man really love you, young ladies. Come on, speak up to them. If a man really yeah. love you, you will get the <laughs> ring. And you're not, you're not going to run to church you know, because you want the ring. But if he love you and if God call you, he will work it out. And if that man is not for you, God will go move him and he will get the right husband. Or maybe God wants to for himself. Mm. You know, I, I'm really I'm inspired or happy what your husband did. Yes. So, what is it? 16 days? 16 days. After you got, after you, you get now, baptized. He said, I'm going to hospital, come look for your girlfriend, mm. come look for your wife. I come look for your wife. And he wife. married, he put on the yes. ring on your finger. Yes. Show off the pretty ring on your yeah. finger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so Richard, let me say this to you that your husband saw, or I should say, Mrs. Williams, your husband <laughs> saw that you made up your mind to serve God. Yes. And he made a bold step. To say hey i'm going to get married to you because he realized that hey you mean god will you want yes. to serve god and he's not going to be a hindrance to stop you from serving god so he did the right thing and so young um young ladies are you know persons um big woman or whatsoever <laughs> you know if you are want to give your life to god and you know you might live with a, a, a man you know and if that man doesn't mean you well or respect your christianity then you need to walk away and trust God. Yes. Walk away and trust God. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Mrs. Williams, before we go, because, you know, your story is so um, powerful and I'm, I'm happy um, that God would have um, um, changed your situation, yes. you know, allow it to be good. I wanted you to just motivate somebody who is watching tonight's episode. Look into the camera and just say something to them before we go. <laughs> I, just, I just want to let you know that there is nothing that is too hard. There is nothing that is impossible mm, with God and with prayer. Because even when I was not a Christian, I was always a praying person. Mm. So there is nothing that prayer cannot do change Come and on, there is man. no distance and if you mean god will and you're living for god then it will show mm. because to me living for god and me taking that step yes. my husband got saved and my children look at that only one of my only one of my um children is not saved and that's the one that I tell about uh, mm. talk about in the story yes, Deandra, yes. she's the only one and i am praying and i'm mm. believing god for her salvation in the name so of jesus when you live when you let your light so shine, shine come on yes yes they will see i want to serve the god that you are serving mm, mighty god so he will get the glory Good man he's going to he will get the glory because me coming to god it, it wasn't for me mm, not at all it wasn't for me Mm. me having um stage three breast cancer it wasn't for me mm. it was for god's yes, glory. To get the glory it was for his glory not mm. for my glory mm. Because none of this don't belongs to me. It belongs to him. Right. Mm. I mean... Because uh, it was a seamless process. Seamless because process. God was in it. Mm. And because he was in it, everything worked together for his for good. For his good. You are a glory. You are a living testimony. And the glory of God is upon you. You see, <laughs> when you walk in this evening, is like, say, yeah, man, you look so nice, you know. <laughs> but to God with the glory. Let me say thank you so much for taking the time out to be on the Testimonies with Akeem Smith show. Your story is going to go a far away because there are so many persons out there who are going through this and who have experienced it, yes. but want still, but believe, but want to hear other person's story. Yes. And so just th thank you so much. To all my viewers, thank you for watching this week's episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment subscribe and share the video tell a mother tell a father tell your uncle tell everybody that mrs williams she has survived stage 
Tree Cancer. Until then, take care.